same size, the trunk's much bigger that I've been working on for 20 years. Uh, and how I developed it is I bought it from Brussels and it was in a you know, big pot. And it was a, came up about that high from the ground and then went this way and then went, it was up in here. So I cut it all back to about two and a half feet tall and took everything off of it. It looked like a caveman club is what it looked like, literally. And grew all the branches back out, kept the ones I wanted, and that's what's good about these. If you cut the branches off, you're gonna get 20 or 30 come out the same spot you cut it off. Ooh. They're very prolific. So you can pick which ones you wanna keep. And it's good to leave a few of them on there for the, the scar to heal up, especially if they're larger branches. But 20 years later, it's just a knockout. I had it in the second U.S. National Exhibition, and it looked very Chinese. We were talking about that earlier. They were very flat pads, very flat pads. And uh, Ryan Neal saw it, and I, he says, it looks too Chinese. I don't like it. Well, it's Chinese elm. And this was Chinese elm. <laughs> he said, no, no, you need to make the pads fill out. And he said, if you look underneath it, you can see where you had your initial, your primary branch that comes out, and you've got like fingers coming out, and then everything, your secondary, tertiary branches come out from there. But he says, what you do is, you know, do that type of thing. And that'll, that'll give it more of a natural body to a point and then you let some of it kind of stretch up the top so these have filled up rather nice i told them i need to fill out this a little bit more and get more of uh, this type of look and almost flat on the bottom but you get that nice almost touch this one before it falls off to the next one so you can still keep that padded look but it'll be much more natural looking, okay the padded look is not natural for these fruits okay okay but you can correct it. You've got everything there. You, all the elements are there. And this top, I didn't like the way it came up and just had this pom pom at the top. It's just too random. This looks like a broom style tree in the top of this tree. But I told him you've got enough in here where you can pull down and make pads. You know, here, over here. And you know, you can have a little dome right here all by itself. But there's enough in here where you can go clean some of the stuff out and really make a few more pads in a different way. And it's going to look a lot more natural. Okay. So it's all there, just simple to do. So it's a few hours with the wiring. You don't even have to wire a lot, but you can pull them down with the guy wire. Okay. Right. right. Yeah. Because it'd be really tedious to get in there. Yeah. Really. But yeah, all the branches are there. You're just going to thin it out, bring them down. Right. Yeah. Let's go to that yeah. Okay. This one is nice, especially for a beginner. It needs to be cut back. You can see how everything's kind of finger growth right now. This should have mature foliage. Just, you shouldn't have hardly any needles at a tree this age. When was the last tree um, Okay, so that's the reason it's done this. A tree that's been in a pot for five, six, seven years is all going to have this really nice, tight, no needles at all, scaly growth. But it will if you keep it in the pot. I will, that pot's really big enough. To oh, it absolutely is. Yeah, okay. absolutely is. It's just refrain from repotting it for a long time. And then mm. you're going to get that really, really nice look. Uh, but again, you only keep a lot of this from scratch. You keep it very tight. I know a lot of people come in here pinch. Don't pinch it. We never pinch it. You cut it. Pinching pulls, and, and I think I told some people earlier, when, you're, when you pinch this, it causes cellular damage back into the branch can go a half inch or so, so it will actually kill some of the growth behind it. If you cut, it only damages that area, just the area that you cut. So you're not gonna get that dye back as you would. And I know a lot of people do it. Yeah. I still have friends that insist on doing it. <laughs> okay? So the other thing I saw was, you know, these could be padded out a little bit. Yes. Okay, so again, it would, it would require wiring, get them out flat, then fill up on top. So you've got this big pad coming down here and kind of hollow here. You can you can hide some of that by bringing some of these branches around and kind of filling in because you don't want to really see that. You don't want to see. No, this you you don't want to see that. You want to have it broken, that broken line. Right now you can see that all the way down. Right. There. You want to have a broken line. So I want to see some of it. You do. You want to see where it's going, but you don't need to see. So you really need to get those branches flattened out and see those multi layers. Okay. Great. So alternating, nothing the same level. So you're going to get pad, 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 pad. pad. The same with the top. The top's just a dome. You, know, you need to bring something down here. Add it out there. Add here, add here. Nice dome in 
That's hard to film here. I, dealt, I, I, I called it more of a tropical. Yeah. Uh, but it's it's very, I like it a lot. It's very mm -hmm. open. Uh, mm -hmm. It's more what, it's like John Naki. You should be able to see birds flying through it. Mm -hmm. You oh, can do that. Yeah, sure. uh, but yeah, it's a very nicely, I, I like the flow of it. I like that there's nothing straight in it. Everything's lots of curves. It's really, really nice. Yeah. And I love the, 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 the small foliage. Does it flower I, I, if it's a honeysuckle? Anybody know anything about it? Hey, Lamont, is that flower? Yes, yellow flowers. Oh, it says too? Okay. Yellow flowers. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, I'd like to see the flowers on it. Yeah, that's, it's interesting. It really is. The I pot's just cool. right for it. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, it's, Did awesome. you it's, it's very nice. Food. Can we talk to Sue Jane's here? She, we just slipped right back. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I didn't know if you were going in. No, when, I just want to say, if anybody wants, if I see one, I want to talk Jump to Jump up and down. Yeah. You can see that what needs to be done to them. Yeah. But, the but this is a style too. This is a style too. Okay. This is a yeah, style. absolutely. Yeah. So these will be more of a, a, this is almost a formal upper. So it's almost a broom. Mm -hmm. So that's perfectly acceptable for, for a, 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 a Shimpaku especially. Because you'll see them in nature normally. Uh, yeah. yeah. So what would you do to improve this? Um, I would try to let some of this stretch over. Okay. so that you get more of a, a, a triangular pattern and mm -hmm. you've got it kind of going that way that's why i'm saying let this one stretch over a little bit this one's kind of in perfect line with that mm -hmm. and, and you really need to have it kind of offset so you need oh. to have it like over here uh, you need one of them so when you do a grover uh horse uh -huh. plane like this you always want to have them never have them the same distance from each other never have them in a line you want okay. to be able to see on each trunk individually okay yeah that's just rule of thumb so sure you can do that, yes. And it's going to be a little bit of work because you've already got them nice and done. So, yeah, you can flatten them out and then let them cover. It's just a matter of pulling these down and turning the crack. Finger pinch or a Pardon me? Finger pinch or a finger pinch? Never, never in Jennifer period. No, you can do it on... on uh, Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. A lot of the types of you know, the types of that's what you do. The flat maple. Yeah. Never on Shimpaku. Never. Yeah. It wasn't my thing. No, it wasn't like the guy from the southern side. Yes, Ted. Good. Evil found into it. Ted did. And I'm glad he does. Because yeah. it causes cellular damage back behind before you're pulling it off. Yeah. Pulling this off and you're pulling the cellular damage of the cells back behind. Yeah. So you, you have a tendency to get more <laughs> scissors. Yeah. Or if you cut it, it's just going to, if you have nice sharp scissors and you cut, then it's just going to die right there. Any juniper. Slow growth. Oh. Any juniper. I thought the garden, like the Japanese ones, they start drowning if you cut them. Versus <laughs> no. No, they, they will grab your hands and hands and go home uh, if you start <laughs> pinching them. I know, I, that's how I learned. I was what trees are you pinching? Yeah, just Cam just the Hinoki Cypress is the yeah. main one. Yeah. Okay, so I was over in, in uh, Europe learning from Danny Hughes, and he had this magnificent, huge juniper he put in front of me and said, go ahead and work on it. You can kind of see where it goes. So start I started grabbing and started pinching and grabbed my hand. He said, what are you doing? I said, well, I'm pinching this off. He said, Never pinch a juniper, and that's when he went in to explain why you don't pinch it. He says, if you're going to continue to do that, you go back home. 
Well, I didn't want to go back. So, <laughs> so you learned, yeah. yeah. So I, I took my nice sharp scissors and I took about 10 times the amount of time. And yeah. Can we look at that rack one over there? Yes. Yeah. I didn't know what to do with this. Yes. It was turned the other way, hanging down with the cascade. And yeah, it was, I flipped yeah, it, was, it over. And, oh, it was like this. I like it better this way, and I think if you styled it a little more, like truck, bring it down a bit. That one? Or even ginned it. Yeah, you've got fun in here to work with. But I like the gin that's there. It's very natural looking. Uh, nice, beefy trunk. Yeah. yeah, it's a nice truck. Yeah. But yeah, it just, this kind of comes up too much and you've got everything else going, you know, plateauing and, and falling down. This kind of comes up too much. It's almost like... So maybe Jenna, it's is cracked it? right here, yeah. almost all the way through. Yeah, that's okay. So, okay, so you think you I can, should... You can actually... I've done this too. You can actually get rid of this wood here. Yep. And be able to grind it out of there. Yeah, grind yep. it out of there. And I'd love to do that. And, and then you ones. then you can wire it or raffia it and wire it. And okay. then get that branch clear down here if you wanted to. Oh yeah, it had been like crazy because there's nothing there. there. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah, the tree is fine. It just this branch needs to be over here. Okay. Oh, that would be right sweet. Yeah. Or get rid of it. Yeah. Yeah. Or get rid of it. Yeah. And I think it needs I think you need something big there. This okay. is kind of small for lowering yeah. the tree. Yeah. This okay. will kind of make that look a little more. All right. Big. Okay. So that, cool. And it's fine this way as long as we continue to go this Grow way. left. Yeah. Okay. So you need that long branch, but you need something to come over this way. So you okay. need this apex to come Long term plan. Yeah. be over here. Okay. Yeah, that'd be sweet. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And then you might want to even move that over. Yeah. But this is this is a local rock here, right? Eh, it's cold. I think it's from Missouri, actually. Yeah. We called them tiff boulders. We used to get them they for call landscaping. Them, oh, right. They're local yeah, to here? Yeah, yeah, that's what I heard. Well, they're they cheap. They're relatively cheap, so maybe they are. Yeah. I heard they come from Michigan. Yeah. yeah. They, they call it sponge rock. Or something like that. Yeah. Something like that. You don't know. Yeah. yeah. But that's what we call tip Okay. Yeah. And when you were in landscaping. Landscaping. Yeah. yeah. We used yeah. them a lot. Because these are just pieces of that. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank, thank you. you. Should I have been showing tears in this or filling it completely? You could. This was yours? Yeah. Yeah. Should I have tiered it? Do you see foliation? Yes. Okay, very good. Because it's got a really nice, even foliation. <laughs> Should I have seen into it? Right. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. The problem is if you tear this out too much, then you see a lot of straight tears, straight tear. I kind of like to see the whole thing. You can make some separations in for the pads. But, but I kind of like it. I like the full, so yeah. I was just wondering if that would be. I just like the orange. Anything mm -hmm. for yeah, the thing is, I couldn't see the trunk very well. So, too low. Of yeah, so, you know, pulling some of these off. Yeah. Yeah. So I can see that trunk. Maybe even getting something off the front here a little bit so that I can see into the tree. Because you can't see the trunk. Right here, so I had to really get down and look at it. Yeah, tall stand. Yeah. 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 More elevated stand. Yeah. Maybe. Always more elevated stand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. But it's a common thing to show. It's some people you don't have any stands. Some people use a placemat. Yep. It's just whatever your local shows have, that's fine. That's why you don't downgrade anything because of it. Because it's what you have. You don't have. I have like 50 stands, so I loan. Oh yeah, stands. right. You need I a lot of stands, for, stands right. for the show, so that our shows look good. In fact, with that mob convention we had last year. Yeah. Yeah. Most all the stands from Indy were mine. <laughs> yeah, the trees are in. Okay. Next. Who's ever you pick? Guys, come on over here. Somebody pick one here. Uh, and then you go towards what I would do to improve the pick a tree. Yeah, that'd be good. Get away from complimenting what you would do to improve. Yeah, let's get mean. <laughs> okay, this one. So this is a grafted, it's it's Acer, Palmatum, Dissectum, Atra purpurium, and this is red feather. So it has all those names. Yep, that's the whole name. Yes. So it's backwards to me because you be wanting to grow towards you. And now I can probably see why you wanted to be able to Oh, yeah. Okay. So it'd probably be more at that angle. Yes, John. I'll see how to do that with it. So you want it coming out, coming this way. It almost comes straight up and then starts to smooth me down. But you want, even in Japan, now I'll say this because I've told this to a lot of people. When I go to a lot of local shows, where you do have beginner stuff, you do have intermediate stuff, they haven't been taught that you you really want that tree to be going, you want that tree bowing towards you. That's what they told me in Japan, in Japan. Oh, bowing yeah. towards you. So even in the, in the big shows in Japan, if you look 
at the trees, even formal uprights. If you look at them from the front, they all look like they're growing up, maybe coming towards the other. But if you go down the end of that aisle, and look, every tree is leaning out. Every last one yeah. is leaning out about that angle. So they're coming right at you. Some of the pines where they've wired, some of the junipers, they will be completely bald in the back of the apex because they brought all that growth oh. around the front. Mm -hmm. They want it to look good from the front. You know how yeah. they say, well, I like the trees to look good from the front and the back. Don't worry about Over it. Over there, it doesn't matter. They want a front. <laughs> that's it. Nice. So the front counts. So that's what you'll see. And I know it's Japan. And I know this is America, but that's, <laughs> I was taught that way. They do it in, in, in Europe as well. So right. both places I learned, you want that tree leaning towards you. And you want everything to be routed towards the front, it. so that the tree looks fantastic from the front. It may look like crap from the back. It's okay. Huh. Yeah, you may have nothing in the back, but everything from the front looks it makes it look like just just pops, just dynamite. There's a boxwood down yeah, there. Yeah, I want to see was, this. Bit, see this tree? How geez, I just think nice it looks better just by doing that. Yeah, it's amazing. Nice yeah, nice. he's shown that a few times. He, he will appreciate that. Pot and it needs to be here. Okay. Needs to be. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it needs to be all the way over here. It may, if it was in this pot, it needs to be over here. Okay. Okay. Can, can you take yes. a look at the boxwood down here? Absolutely. Have, yeah. Okay. This looks like a urban yamadori boxwood, or did you? Yeah. Get, yeah. Yeah. Ur exactly. Urban That's good. Good description. Came out of a shrub. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. So they're they're fantastic trees. Uh, they, re they you can what I like about them you can dig you can work with the roots about any time of the year. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I've dug them in the middle of summer and let them set yeah. out in the yard and then transplant them. You uh, can't kill them. Later. So they're fantastic. Do you full sun on your boxwoods? I do full sun. Full sun on that. Full sun. It's in full sun. Now, I say that, but if we get really hot yeah, you get in real the hot 90s there. or above, I, I will definitely move them to some shade. Yeah. I, I will definitely do that. Uh, the pot's too big for me. Is it? Yeah. Okay. It's just too big for the tree. If you had this and you were making it into more of a, a scene, yeah, like a landscape or something. Yeah, or landscape. Right. Then, then that would work great. You have something over here, but the tree, you know, a pot ideally should be about this big. Really? Okay. You do that. Yeah. That should be mine. So. Yeah. That's an <laughs> interesting <laughs> pot too. Who did the pot? That's uh, that Linda Appel. Yeah, She's a, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. Linda's. Yeah. yeah. She made that special for that tree, so I screwed up. Yeah. <laughs> well, I like the colors, but it's just too big. Oh, she made a tree. Yeah, yeah, she did. You know, so it flows with the tree. She tried to do all that. So you could let the tree get bigger. Yeah, you know, it was bigger. I got okay. it back, so maybe that's well, why. There, yeah, you, it was you about six inches. That's what <laughs> I've showed this tree a million times that has never won anything, and I, I even in like beginner class, so I don't know what I. Welcome so. to the club. Exactly. Yeah. I love this tree, so I I'm keeping it. Thing. I'm going to keep growing it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Where? Yeah. Yeah. This was this was an awesome tree too. It, it was really nice. tough in this category. Uh, to oh, pick master! A tree. Oh, it was tough because <laughs> yeah. there's so many nice yeah. nice trees here. Uh, I love the flaky bark on this. It's fantastic. Uh, I would, uh, although they do it sometimes, they peel that bark off to get the, expose that nice red shiny bark. I like mm -hmm. I like the more natural look yeah. of these. Yeah, it's just beautiful. Let's see. Who's it? Who's is that? Yes, just just to see it look and the lichen growing on it's a nice. Is that, is that yours? I mean, it looks Man's very oh. very. Nice. Who says this? Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. Look. Can I take it home? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, it's a beautiful tree. It really is. Well, very well done. Very well done. I love and, and when you style these things, this is what you do. I mean, that's what I was going to do. I brought another Hinoki twin trunk. I was going to take everything off the bottom of it, about two thirds of the way up, uh -huh. and then you train the branches down. That's the way they. That's that's the way they should be done. Because hmm. that's the way they should look right there. But, hmm. Yeah, beautiful. Did you put it up and look underneath it? Yes. It's, 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 it's just, yeah. Oh, that's it's incredible. Yeah. yeah. That's why I say it's very well done. It's very well done. Yeah, I saw that yesterday. Ah, yeah. Okay, I'll give you 25 for it. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's beautiful. Beautiful. Again, round stand. About this tall, real pretty accent planter stone on a little tree, a little deciduous tree, and a very a stone Ooh. or a, a small accent plant. So a really nice three-point display. display. This great. Right really good. Yep. Yeah, it's an nice expert. Yeah, incredible tree. Who's next? Very well done. Yeah, who wants next? Can you do the power This one. Yeah, I don't have any of these. I get so many calls for them. Huh. Uh, you can get them at Brussels. You can get them out of uh, Weigert's down in Florida. I did see them when I went down there earlier this year. Uh, very popular because of this. 
and this is the style that you see most with mm -hmm. nice literati style and it almost more to be a little more bright than that mm -hmm. bring some of these branches down here okay so you bring this down here even to try to get that literati look okay uh, stands a little bit big again i think it needs to be on a <coughs> Round stand, mm -hmm. yeah, and up, okay. and and again, you could do a three point with this as well. But it's nice. yeah, but yeah, I, I like it's it. Unique. They're very popular among, oh, especially yeah. new people mm -hmm. or just getting into bonsai. <laughs> and they're they basically like that flower. Yeah. They like it's yeah. just it's just an easy one to work with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's beautiful. Somebody else or anything else? I love your little accent. Excellent people. <laughs> Excellent people. These okay. peak large ones? Yeah, what the heck? So, so this is one I gave somebody feedback, one of the first ones I gave feedback on. Oops, this could be an amazing, it could be a show winning three. Uh, it just needs some stuff done to it. So the first thing I do I would do is lean this whole thing this way. Mm -hmm. So this branch would be about right here. Okay. I would waffy it in this, wrap it real well, hollow it out wrap it, wire it, and bring that branch and curl it back around this way. Yep. Whoa. Compact the whole thing. Okay. All these branches would be have a lot of zigzag and curls in it to, to really it compact up. this tree. Yeah. It's all there. It's all there. We wouldn't get rid of hardly anything. Whose is this tree? Yeah, it's mine. It's already got three rocks in it holding it up there. Oh, I believe it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I, I repotted it before the show. Okay. And it just, I agree with you. Yeah. I just can't keep it up there. Okay. And carry it I at could, the same time. I could work with you and show you how. Sure. But the the thing, how how often do you repot? Um. You're supposed to tell me when, three you're supposed years. To, the answer is supposed to be when it needs to. Yeah, but so I mean, it hasn't been really in a while. On an old tree, that would be seven, eight, nine years. Yeah. Between repot. Okay. Yeah. So I wait for. The, the soil so and no it was it was there. repotted this past yes. week and it, it's been that long okay yeah. all right that's good but I, again that that's what i would do because i see that i can see exactly what i do in that tree okay. just mm -hmm. yeah. the and, great and see the curve here. yeah the curve that's on there when i bought it at one of our offices yes. it went straight at that yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah and i did oh. a demo for this club uh -huh. and i did that you did that did okay. that curve good and and I, you should have done I, it I wired, <laughs> you kept going. I drafted, drafted it, everything, yeah. Yeah. and I told the entire, yeah. whoever was watching, please talk now. Yeah. Because <laughs> I didn't want them to hear any crap. Yeah. But it did crack. Yeah. <laughs> and that was probably, what was that, six, seven years ago? Yeah, because that's a very old yeah. tree, and we could make it look good. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yep. Had it out very nicely. Uh, Next one next. Whatever you want to grab. Yes. Oh. Did you talk about my large there next to the person? That's your large? Yeah. Yeah, we didn't talk about it. Anyway. Sorry. Yeah, I envy people who can grow large because I can't grow them. Really? Is it because of the heat? I guess. Yeah. I have huh. no idea. I wish, They're easy I, wish I could. Oh, yeah, everybody has. <laughs> right. yeah. yeah, they grow like weeds. It's like, I can't grow them for the life of me. I've tried them over and over and over. Huh. I've heard that I kept them too dry. Do you keep it pretty wet? Where are you? Where's yeah. Right you, you keep it really wet? Yeah. Somewhat. Uh, okay. Use pond water on it. Dad waters it a lot of the time just because he's here. And he okay. waters all. He has like 20 others at the oh, same okay. time, so he just hits mine up while he's at it. Full sun? Not quite now. Okay, because I, I've, I've tried keeping them in the shade. I've tried keeping them. I've tried keeping them <laughs> wet. I've tried keeping them in the dry side. I've tried putting them in the bucket. Oh, I can't get them to survive for them. So, yeah, I'd love to know the secret. I love them because they're just so elegant. They're so. Yeah, they're they're dainty. Great trees. Yeah. Yeah. Great trees. So what did you now? What I see on this one is is it looks very immature up here. So mm. I like to see gin up here myself. You don't have to do that, but I mean that that's what I see. That's what I saw up here. So this would be gin, maybe a gin like that. Mm -hmm. Really cool looking gin at the top, which would mean you'd have to train some of these uh, apical branches you know, back up. around this way to kind of hide. But that, that's what I saw. So, like from here on up, would be G. 
But again, that's just my opinion. That's, yeah. That's what I see. But it's a, isn't it for a beginner? That's an awesome treat. It's a great treat. That's an awesome treat. Yeah. Thank you. I wish I could do that. Can you do that? Yes. Do the Gigantor one. Yeah, I love this. <laughs> I love this. Gigantor, that's good. Uh, yeah, I think this is awesome. Uh, what are these? Natal cones. Natal cones, okay. So the, the dwarf natal cones. Yeah. Yeah, it must be. Because you don't see those very right. often. Oh, okay. Yeah, I always see this natal cone like Yeah. But I like the dwarf ones. They have a really nice fissured bar. Uh, I really like those bar. Where did you get those? Um, from uh, Kirk. Okay. Yeah. I don't know where. Yeah, I would love to find some. Yeah, Kirk. I got yeah. these from Kirk. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Because those are really, I really like them. I like that you have three. I like they're at different levels. Uh, staged up really nice. This could get away from me very quickly mm -hmm. because of all of this. Yeah. And it would just cover the whole thing. <laughs> I mean, you can tell you've done, you've got a lot of work in these. I don't like so much that the leaves are the same color. Uh, maybe a, a grassier type leaf, a, a small type mm -hmm. leaf, but I like that they're different colors. Mm -hmm. uh, shape is what I don't like, but it looks incredible. And this really nice club moss, like bigger moss on it. Yeah, I just think it's cool. I just think it's cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's really it is. To improve, again, I would use some other type of ground cover. You've got the two type in there, and you can get even like this. Like you've seen the Scottish moss, moss and the Irish moss. Yes. Yeah, that would work really well in this, and that's going to give you a different texture. That more. Yeah. 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 So it's still more compact. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 But it still spreads. It'll still go. Down. It'll go down to yes. the cracks of this. Yes. Yeah. It'll work great. Okay. That's what. I, that's why I say, and you can get that gold, the Scottish, uh -huh. right, the, and then the green is the Irish. Right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. They got it right here. You can buy it here. Yes. Oh, yeah. I did see some of yeah. yeah, that's that's the only thing I would change on. I really like everything else. And I'm not a big fan of this, but okay. this one's struck me. Yeah, yeah, this one looks really good. Yeah. Beautiful. I've had a few arguments over these things. <laughs> yeah. Why? Wow. They're just not my thing. They're, they're just not, not my thing. And there are people who do workshops with them. Yeah. I just, it's just not my thing, but this is very well done. It's very, uh, Thank you. it just struck me. So All right. yeah. it, it doesn't look, I know it's put together, but it doesn't look as put together as some of the ones I've seen. Yeah. Yeah. Very nicely Thank done. You. Yeah, very nicely done. An interesting stain too. Oh, yeah, I've okay. seen people take slabs of wood. I guess maybe that's the reason it's kind of up. Most of the ones I've seen, they'll take a slab of wood and cut it the same. Mm -hmm. Same content. So it's all, yeah. Then it's only up an inch. I like, like that. Yeah, I do too. Mm -hmm. I do too. No, it's, it's very well done. Thank I like you. it a lot. Uh, you need a little bird up here. A bird? <laughs> yeah, 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 a little crane. Okay. <laughs> that would be cool. Yes, flying around. Or a guy in a speedo yeah. jumping into the water. <laughs> yes. Has it bloomed for you? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, so just they, the wrong The thing. Japanese bloom better than the Chinese do. Uh, I think this like, one's called Texas Red, but it, Texas, I still, yeah, I think. Texas Scarlet. Scarlet, there you yes. go, that's right, yep. Then you've got really nice small leaves for Texas Scarlet. So whatever you're doing to this, keep doing it. Because a lot of people let them stretch out and then they get the big leaves on them and they defoliate and then they get. So that, if that's a Texas Scarlet and it has that size of leaves, it looks great. Yeah. Um, now, I, I'm her husband and yes. so I tell her that it needs to be tighter. Am I wrong? Actually, no? I would just let it fill in what it is. Oh, you, okay. You, I, what I would do myself is let something grow along here and let it stretch to pump up this trunk. Oh, yeah, because right. Because it's too uniform all the way up. Yeah, you don't have a good taper. You've got yeah. a good flow, but it's too... I would let this one, for instance, in, just in, grow, grow, grow. This would be your first yeah. branch after that, but grow yeah, and pump cool. this up. Let it get double yeah. that size before you ever cut that off. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's what I would do, too. But then you would sacrifice that branch. You would sacrifice that place. You just take care of it. Because it doesn't need to be there. This is your first so place. So it's just there to fit yeah. in this. Yeah. And yeah. Like it. See, yeah, even if you took that off now, it's yeah. fine. Okay. But if you let this grow and really pump that up. Mm -hmm. They will make it pump up. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's what I wanted to do. Anybody else? Can you comment? Oh, I got a lot of bamboo. You know that? There's always somebody. 
It's like a jasmine that. orange kind of flower. Yeah, it smells does. Really nice. they do. They, they're fantastic. Mm -hmm. I've had a lot of these over the years, and I can't really keep them in stock. Yeah. So you've got this going the right way. Everything's going the right way. You, you need to keep some of the smaller stuff here and some of the smaller stuff. But the pad's working out real nice. And I would almost get this going over this way is what I saw. Mm -hmm. okay. A little action. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's not coming down just mm -hmm. kind of right, mm -hmm. right at you. You want it kind of over. You know, put a little yeah, more curve in that and get it over this way. That way you've got definite pads. This doesn't look like a vine just hanging over like that. Gotcha. That's what I see. Mm -hmm. you know, I keep some of the, the folds cleaned out of here. Um, real tight. And it's, it's not bad. It's not. It's, uh, you've got another place here where you could get a pad, which you could use one here. So I'd let one of these grow, get rid of the other two. Okay. Yeah. Would Maybe that not be like here. on the same side kind of thing? Or? Well, but it can, but see, you could have this go over this way and this oh, come okay. out here. Okay. So you have this so pad here. Don't get it. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I like them and they're good. To, that pot is really huge for that, but yeah. it's okay if you're growing. Right. Okay. Yeah. And that's the reason I really didn't choose it for any type of tropical okay. reward because it, it's really, really big and bulky for that. Okay. Tree. Yeah, we repotted it a couple of times in the same pot. Yes. And it was almost like an hour to dig it out because it's concave. Oh, that's the thing. So we were like pushing oh, and pulling and pushing right. and pulling and it wouldn't come out because it was so... <laughs> a lot of these people just take a hammer and they that's break That's what it. I would, yeah. yeah. It's almost to yeah. the point where we, we almost did, so... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you might want to find a different pot for it that's got more of a flare this yeah. way. Easier okay. to get out and of the pot. And a little smaller. Yeah, a little, a little bit smaller, yeah. Here. But right now, if you wanted to grow it and it's thicken a grow it, pot. is it okay? Yeah. This is a grow pot and there's nothing wrong with it, yeah. Yep, and it's obviously healthy and it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. Cool. Okay? Perfect. Thank you. Now, what's it like with this needle pond and that needle pond? The top. That's what. Yeah, so this one, I would almost cut a lot of this off and kind of get one flow here. Yeah. Really? Uh, who's this? Yours? Yeah. Okay. I, you would want it to develop ultimately is get some type of apex so where, whether you bring this up and kind of follow it around where you have an apex here. Okay. Uh, just being a cascade, I kind of like to just see you know, the apex and kind of one of It doesn't have to be done that way. You, know, you can make this a pad, this pad, this pad, this pad, but it's kind of bare right here in front. So it's one of those things where I'd almost just let it flush, let it flush, and then decide what to do. Right. So kind of what I just doing. let it grow. And to do that, I'd put it in a bigger pot. Yeah. That is a better pot for that one. Okay. That's yeah. a better size. So I actually, just picked up a big, a big yeah. pot for yeah. it. Yeah. So later on, it will need it. Yeah. But uh, but right now, I just let it grow and then decide what to do. Because you need pads. You've got single little things here, so you can tell you're just. You're just starting to get it developed. So, right. Yeah. And, and everything's there. But again, I would probably almost get rid of this or make it a pad here. Get rid of this long yeah, that's what I was thinking. These starting like, yeah. cuttings too. Yeah. Yeah. Super easy to cut. Yeah. So, you can sell them for it. could be a pad here, pad here, <laughs> here, pad here. But you need something. See, so that's so, kind of what I was thinking. Yes. Yeah. Get rid of this. Yep. And then get rid of this. Yes. Like yes. Like yes. Here. I agree. That's why I would do. Then you turn it a little bit. Yeah. yeah. So it's coming out the side of the and you can you can do that if you had a four-legged stand rather than a solid stand on the side, you could actually turn it in the pot. I made that one day. Yeah. Well, it gets it up where it needs to be. Yeah, yeah. You need to get it off the table. <clears throat> right. Also, when you're distra displaying a secondary tree, it needs to be out in front slightly of the, the main tree. Okay. So always have that. Could you do that and drawing? So you that, that yeah, feedback did. To that. You, did you the also thing. want a tree that is and I haven't said anything about that yet. You, you, normally, in a good show where they're really doing a, a good critique and they're, they're marking points off for the way it's displayed, you would never have a tree native to here with a tree native to tropics. Uh, yeah. See, well, I always tree. told that it had to be something that was different from the tree. It does, but displayed. it needs to be still growing still in the same, to indigenous the same to the same region. Or at least oh, tropical, yeah. 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 But he did the painting himself, by the way. Yeah. Not oh, bad. Really? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs>
That's awesome. Great job. And that's kind of behind it where I would have it. Yeah, here. more letters. If, if I was to set this up just with what you have here, this would be over here. This would be over here a little bit. And this would be here. So is, it, is the rule kind of that this points at the yes. yeah points at it, the secondary the tree yeah so if right like so if you had a three point display it flow off to the secondary tree and then to the axon line. Yeah, so you're getting this triangle going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Bing, bing. Yeah. yeah. That would be over here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You've got the. You've got it's not. It's really an angle. It's trying to get motion. Yeah. It's in the back. You can read it again. I found some it's website that taught me that. I don't remember. That's a great <laughs> scroll. I don't remember. At some point, we'll get. No, you did, you did a really good job. Yep. Can we do that? Why not? Oh, okay. about the cascade? Yes. Can I do that? We'll make sure we do that. A crown the best to show. So I can they, should have, have. they should have an apex okay. up there. That ultimately they should have. Okay. There, I've seen nice trees without them. Okay. okay. But normally you're going to see an apex, and then so you want the cascade is the first branch. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. So it'd be like growing on the side of a mountain. It still wants to grow up, but it can't. So it just got that first branch going down. So that's what you're trying to represent. Yeah. Mark, can you look at this today? Yes. Is that yours, Chris? Yeah. I just wondered if this spring is like if I start selling. Yes. Because I did good. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> He's a judgmental kind of guy. So, <laughs> so I just gave it to him instead. No. Uh, so where did you get it? Uh, from uh, Frogger? Or, okay. No. Yeah. <laughs> So these are native to tropical regions. I saw some amazingly huge ones in uh, Hawaii. When I went there. Mm -hmm. I've never seen them. They were like taking a full side and seeing them growing up houses in Florida. I've seen them in the US. US. Hedgerows in Florida. I've yeah, seen them in the US. Yeah, US so, Russ, I mean, uh, Weiger down Florida, he has a deal with all the landscapers in Florida, that whenever they dig up Bougainvillea, he gets it. He gets it. So he pays him a dollar an inch of, of, of the caliper of the trunk. Yeah, so like, yeah. yeah. So he that's pretty cheap. That and so you go to his place and like, gosh, we went there in March. Okay. It's, it's just, yeah, glowing. It has so many bougainvillea in balloon, you know, trunks this big on the center. Wow. <laughs> just massive. I'll show you some pictures. That's the hard part. It's getting into balloon. I'm trying full sunlight. I'm, yeah. I'm doing the uh, balloon booster. Yeah. So. And it, it's gotten the leaves healthier, but it hasn't quite. Okay, Here, here's what you're doing. Is it not blooming for you? So, Correct. So, so you're being too nice to it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You're watering it too too mm -hmm. regularly. You're fertilizing it too regularly. Okay. You want to kind of neglect them mm -hmm. to the point where they're wilting and even lose some leaves, right? And then you start watering, you start caring for it, and then it'll yes. bloom for you. Mine blooms Trust every me. month of the year. Really? Well, literally every mm -hmm. month of the year. Even when I take them out of the greenhouse in the spring and I cut all the branches off of them, <laughs> the branches that come out within two weeks, they bloom. Wow. So, and I don't do anything special to them. I just, I'm just cruel to them. You know, I <laughs> may let them dry out. Or, you know, during the daytime, I may not water them. All day long, when I come out there, they're just wilting down like this. Yeah. That's what does it. I clean the cool. We, we bought one last year at the yes. Hidden Lake Show, yes. and the guy said, oh, it's almost ready to bloom. And I said, do they like droughty conditions? Yes. Oh, no, water it a lot. I'm like, that goes against what I learned growing right. up in India. My right. mom has one right. in a bungalow. Yes. It goes all the Absolutely. way around the arch and it's yes. gorgeous. Yes. And it's like drought conditions. Yes. It's so hot. There you it's go. red. No leaves because it can't even afford leaves. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's just, it's just blue. Still so wow. for uh, eight months we've been watering it. Yes. Nothing's happened. Uh -huh. And But I kept thinking, well, maybe I'm wrong because I don't know. <laughs> and the guy grows bonsai. I mean, he was as, at the show and he was a vendor. Yeah. <laughs> and so I'm so glad he said that no, because that's very I'm like, you know, I don't want to water it. But right. I, it, he's, it's there and I'm like, I want. It's happy, lots of leaves, but no, not a single flower. Yeah. You always should do what your mother says. Yes. Too nice. Okay, be mean. All right. Yeah, I've heard, I've heard of people do foliage. Mm -hmm. So you could do that too. Really, the foliage size is just perfect on it. It's nice and tight. So it looks like it should look. It's a pretty tree. Yeah. And, and, and see if it doesn't blend within two or three weeks. Awesome. Thank you. It really works. Can we can we finish Almost up with the best of show over here?
Oh, let me get. Uh, you got one more? I made a comment about the Apex on this Ponderosa. Yes. On the back of Yeah, I did. Is that your Padre Rosa? Yeah. Is it yours? Yeah. I did not know that. This one. This one. Oh, this right one. Here. Is this the right there? I made a comment about yeah. moving two branches. One is for the Apex. Yes. I think you mentioned this one. Is the Apex. I was actually talking about, talking about that, that one. Yeah. Oh, but this oh, one's fine mind. too because this one I can see the things that need to be done to it too. I was just going to get with you on it because I like the tree. I think it's amazing and you paid $125 for it. Yeah. This That's amazing in itself. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I would get these down, almost follow the pattern of that the Scott's Green. Because this was the Scott's Green. Oh, Scott's Green. Oh. <laughs> That's the way it should yeah. be. Yes. Yeah. So you and, and rather than having all these come off into one pad, you know, try to get different levels here. So you can get one over in here. This is fine here, but get pull this down here and get one down here. Get that depth. Okay. Yes. Yes. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Let's try to get those different levels. Good for you. Snap. <laughs> yeah, so that type of thing. Yeah. Okay. Let's get that tears. Yeah. So you want to do, get get some of those down there like that. This one kind of flattened out in the back because you need that depth. Yep. And when you see a branch in the back, another thing I was taught in Japan, you just want to see the skeleton. You want to see the structure of the branch. You don't really care about what's on top. Just so to see you look back, back to you look back, you want to see that. Oh, shit. That's cool. See that? Sorry. That's all you want to see. Holy shit. Is that... Yeah, just that little. Mm -hmm. see, that's what I mean. Oh, so, my God. That's, that's it. That's the kind that of stuff so you, cool. you learn in Japan. Yeah. So. Uh, this here is kind of squirrely, but that's good. the way they should be. I mean, if you're going to style a Ponderosa and get it compact, you have to do that. It's just that you got... It just sticks out so high. Yeah, well, you've got kind of curved straight, curved straight. So, yeah, almost a heavier gauge wire on it and, and try to bend. And make it more circular. Yeah. More curves. Yeah. And then squeeze those together yeah. more. Was he saying that that one sprout, this one shoot should go? Is that what you were saying? No, I'm oh. telling him to twist the branch. There, oh, make it more. Oh, see, see that? There you see go. That? I was trying to get that on film, too. So that's good. You can see the depth on okay. it now. Yeah. Damn, Before, good. kind of everything's over this way. So if you do that, it just mm -hmm. it makes it... And just two minutes on that. Yeah. I like this one. You need to this fill it in right here. And cover just doing Yes, and cover that up. These graft really easy. So you can graft one on there. You can you can pull one of these over here and graft it to the side. Start thread make grafting sure it you, in? Yeah, thread graft or approach graft, either one. You've got enough here where you could do that. You could even do something silly and put the variegated one graft branch on here and you'd have a variegated branch right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But but yeah, if you can get a branch from the same get tree that one felt, and yep. pull it back around and just get something here. Get something here. Perfect. Okay. That's great. And fill in that front. Just fill in this hole here. But other than that, it's really cool. Now it should it should <coughs> fill and cover it. Oh, here, absolutely. But then will. See them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you, you got this good, and you can see. That's beautiful. Actually, nice. the, the base. Is Almost see every trunk from the front, Pretty except hard for this one. But you can kind of see where it's coming. Yep. So. All right. Thank you. That would be the goal. Right? Mm -hmm. so cool. yeah. I, yeah. I I think that's cool. Raffle right. tree. Yeah. yeah. Raffle tree. 20 bucks. Front, front, 20 bucks, 20 bucks. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do the do the best of show and we'll, we'll let you quit. For which one? The best of show and tell us why. Oh, okay. okay. And then I want to do that one too. That was the Oh, you want to do that one first? Let's do it first. Man, quit Is put water in your tree. <laughs> okay, walk out of here so I can talk about this. <laughs> walk out so I can talk about this. Uh oh. Uh, no, I, I, I like. Come on. We're losing problem. That's the pressure, I think. Yes. I liked this, and I'm I'm envious because I can't grow those. <laughs> Another one. Yeah. Uh, I, I, in the summertime, I start losing branches on them. It, it seems like you get it just the way you want it, and you lose the damn branch. Really? You get that? That's yeah, why I say. Trying to get out it of there. <laughs> before you went. <laughs> that's why I say. On, so on the critique, that was my uh, my thing. Is I'm envious because you can grow that that well. Because everybody says, "Well, can you reds here? I can't do it. Yeah, I've tried them over the years. That's some of the first trees I tried. Mm. Um, the thing that I don't like is the immature top apex, but I can see what you're doing and where you're going with it. But I would have ginned that and just made it just this be the apex right here. Oh, so. well, it, I felt that it needed further height, and I felt that I needed another little clump, a miniature clump that, that mimics this up there, I, and then I can build that. Yeah, I again, having been in Japan, shorter is better, and I just see that you've got a really nice dome there. 
and that piece of, of, of gin coming out of the top would just make it, especially since you've got all this down here, yeah, I might it, would just, it would just look you know, I might, I might superb. Because you've got everything's there. Yeah. And then that kind of look, did he add a new tree to it? Yeah. You see what you did. And, and I can see where you're going with it. If you developed all those pads out, it's going to be very nice. Yeah, very it's going to be soft. When you see them out in nature, you're going to see more of a dome than you're ever, you're ever going to see an apex straight up. Because you'll see some like this, and they're going to have that domed appearance on the top. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that, it's just incredible. I'm, I'm envious that you can grow that that well. Yeah. Love it. One of my first starts. Yeah. It looks great. No, it looks great. You Is that right? Great That's job. one of your first trees? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Forty-some years ago. Yeah. yeah. Make it ever. Thank you. And who's this one? That's me. Okay. This one... And again, work in Japan, worked with Japanese white pines for many, many, many years. Everything's there on this one, but I see. Can I move it? All right. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Move it. Uh, filling the pad up on top. So that's done by just taking some of these smaller branches and just bringing them up inside. And fill in that pad so you have this, but you have this dome. Okay. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Oh, sure. And you've got everything there. That's I mean, that's the thing. It's not like it's not there. But I just see it being fuller. I just see it being fuller. Hmm. And and uh, so I hate less to look about a perfect plane. Right. No, you, you don't want the perfect flowers, plane. Maybe. And and we curled more. branches around. You know, we had them sticking out here. We curl them back around and double them back on just to get that fullness inside the mm. branch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's okay. Awesome. And, and then whenever I showed him, I did this, too. I just yeah. pulled off the line. Yeah. Yeah. Just to get that nice flat. It's but again, that's classical good Japanese. Stuff. This is, doesn't have to be. Good so. stuff. Good yeah. stuff. Yeah. Well, you can see that I've actually not from here to oh, here. Yeah. here. <coughs> I've yeah. left it alone. I, I, took off, I took off this big right yes. here. No, and that's good. You at did that, that point. Yeah, and then like this that. was just last year. Yes. And it's hardly been, you know, yeah. wired in there, other than just main wires. And then the rest of it was done. Yeah. Nice. No, it looks good. It looks good. You'll be hard pressed to get that from California. Yeah. Black pines will be fine. The white pines won't take it from Southern California. Oh, you're going to be Oh, you're fine. No, it'll take it. Oh. We're going to do one more trip. Oh, you did? Okay. Well, that's even good. Turn off the iPod. Okay, perfect. Actually, fine. Can I show this? No, I want one. Okay. And you fed him a little bit. That's so good. Yeah, he's totally we'll be done here. Package them all. Yes. Put them in plastic bags. Sure. Send them to pot separate. Popcorn them all in. Tie them all down inside the boxes. Good. And the uh, next day here, kind of thing. Yes. We'll talk to you. A ton of money down here. I can't wait. No, no. no. <laughs> yeah, this is what I've had for 40 years. No, I agree. You know, I agree. Yeah, you know what I mean? I would have to. <laughs> yeah. I know that it's going to be kind of sneaking them in, but it's okay. You know, it's going to do what we're going to do. But the other side of the coin is, look, they're perfectly healthy. Absolutely. They're totally healthy. Yeah. So come on. You know. Now you get that. He's got that on tape. So I do. Yeah. Now we're screwed. <laughs> now we're screwed. <laughs> In perpetuity. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. I love my Let's do the big guy and get yeah, you, let you go. Have dinner. Okay, just tell us whatever, why. And I, is he here, Vance? Yeah. That'd be the guy. Yeah, very nice guy. Very nice guy. Obviously. Uh, but, yeah, I like the pot. I like the whole tree because the pot is textured like the trunk would be. You've got all this dead wood happening. I would try to sharpen them up a little bit more. But I love the moss. I love the whole tree. <laughs> you should, as well. You should. Sure. Uh, I wish I can't grow mugos very well either. So you're in Ohio. I mean, I mean, in Indiana, or in Central Indiana, and I don't know why they grow in the landscape all day long. They try to put them in a pot and like that. Really? Yeah, it looks great. You've got the nice short needles. Was that dug out of the landscape, Bobby? Well, was, uh, actually, to tell you the truth, I bought it after 1964. Did you? Did you? <laughs> Awesome. You just bought it in Midboard Ice? That's even better. That's <laughs> even better. But you've got all the branches. It, it just has everything right to me. That's, that, that's the tree that should be right here as you walk into the show. That's it's, 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 it's the rest of the whole I love it. I absolutely love that tree. You know, it, yeah. Yeah. No, incredible tree.
Yeah, yeah. again, the, the stand. I didn't move, I gave that back to you. Yeah, the stand, I would elevate that just a little bit. And again, I would have a nice plant down here okay uh, something with rounded leaves rather than grassy because you never want to display grass with a, right, one of those rules done never a grass with a pine or a large or anything with needles because okay. it looks too much like the tree huh? so, so what do you complement a ficus with a long grass yeah you could do that but you just want to make sure it's again tropical something something tropical something that will grow will grow down florida somewhere bamboo is good mm. bamboo is straight for it. yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah but i love it i love tree a well-deserved best to show in first place. Yes, nice job, Pants. Yeah, I would change the stand if I, if I was judging it with the stand and all that stuff. I don't like. I, I think it should be a little smaller. I like it for it to be two to three inches on each side, okay. and, and an inch in the front. Okay. Um, it needs to be elevated a bit, see underneath it, and be able to see this more at this level right here. Yeah. So just gotcha. elevate a little bit, and again, exit through here. But other than that. Find out how tall the judge is, and then I'll exactly yeah, get it right to that height. Yeah. Oh, that's true. That's true. Okay, I see. About five. Four, five four guy, you're in good shape. Yeah. No, I love it. Love it. And I like that you haven't made the gin totally white. Yeah. Yeah. I use, I use that would a groom. Brush. That would groom. No, it looks just right the way it is. I always brush the yeah. No, it's Pretty gorgeous. Cool. Gorgeous, gorgeous tree. Yep. Yeah. They'd like that even in Europe, and they they grow all over there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I do see one thing here. We were always taught in Japan to hide this somehow, these wires coming down. Again, it's brown. It's not that noisy. But even to move a small branch in front of it just to hide those wires. Okay. We weren't allowed to have any wire showing in front of the tree at all. Okay. So we had to wire the branches. Even the branches, the main branches, we'd have to wire back behind the tree and then get, hop up to another branch real quick. They didn't want to see any along the main branch line. They didn't want to see any in the front in your booth. Yeah. 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 So, real simple fix because you've got the branch there. Yeah. It's just sliding it over a little bit. But other than that, you, it's just it nothing going through. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, let's. Did you put that? That, that should have gotten an actual show. Did you even try to enter? No, it was at ADF. And when they mentioned the trees that I had there, it could not be. Yeah. He's done some strange things this year. <laughs> he went after the raft, he yeah. went after this one. I'll show you the one that I entered and he didn't take. I don't, I, I don't get it and nobody gets it. And it's right there. Oh, wow. He would not take that ship, that tree. Huh. Why? Yeah, elephant bark. Yeah, so what, it's an elephant tree, right? But they, it's a rough bark jade is where it's on. So it's a rough bark, Portugal uh, uh, carry afro. Yep. Um, You've done a really good job on getting it compacted, oh, and, and you're keeping it very tight. Most people don't do that. <laughs> they let them get really stretched and fall down. I think there was one in here like that. Yep. Yeah, there was in the back. Set yeah. way down. Yeah. So the tighter you keep it, the the more times if you trim it when there's only and leave okay. only two leaves, and you get those next two branches, you cut them back two leaves, you're going to get that really tight ramification. That's good enough. Yeah. You've got good nabari, which is really rare on it. Okay. Good nabari. I, I like the tree overall. It's just keep a letting it fill out. Yeah. You need to this, like this. Yes. I thought the gap was too much in here, Mark. I wasn't sure, so no. I didn't lower it. I, I, I felt like I wanted to go lower, but because that gap would be so exposed. Yeah. But you've okay. got this one to come down a little bit and leave this one right here. So, yeah. Now, the concern is like, is it too linear in that design, or should I try to make sure you no, see that? No, because you've got the scaling triangle down yeah, perfectly. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's like eight round. Yeah. Just let it keep going and yeah, filling in smaller. That's Good. what I think. I think so. Yeah, I think it's beautiful. And can we, I, we just got a request to hear, see the, the big sumo here in the front. Can yes. You, yeah, perfect. Say a little something. That'll be a good finish. And we'll add that in as a finish. You're going to have to edit something. That's fine. I don't think you might. Yeah, he did. We used to have one, and we had a separate greenhouse. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 And the point to get it for last year's show, and they couldn't find it. <laughs> they moved it to one of their other facilities. I went down there, and they said, is this it? There was one wall and a partial of another wall. Just brack and all They threw it outside, yeah. rained for months, whatever. So last year, we just had some petitions in the yes. screen. So I built this again for this year. It's not bad. Well, the cool we ones use I've it for the club. But yeah, the cool ones I've seen would omit this wall. 
Okay. And take a gnarly tree. Yeah, yeah I've seen that's those right. Two on yeah. the corner. Yeah. It looks pretty cool. Yeah, we really could do that. Yeah. We could still do that. Yeah. And that makes it kind of easier to get into work on trees and stuff too, uh -huh. to replace the trees, to set up an event as well. Yeah. So that's that's one thing I would change about it. Uh, but other than that, yeah, it's good to have. It, I would love to have one of these cars, but we just haven't replaced it. Mm -hmm. I would have to have that's normally the problem, I think. So, no, so what I do with these, because I have a big one at home, not this big, of course. I have one with the one I have grafted. Area roots on so mm. that I could be, just to pull the branches yeah, down. Yeah, I grew up with those. Yes. And then that one wasn't there. Yes. And I cut it off and yes. grafted it over here. Yeah. And and that's the good thing about them, they graft readily. Yeah. Uh, you can heal this scar up too by grafting, like get some start cuttings going and grafting what you call a bridge graft. Oh. So you bridge graft over there. So when you do that, you'd scar the back side of it. And you'd put a tack here, a tack here across this, and it would bridge that. Okay? Uh -huh. And it would completely heal over. You could get that with three grams. You do two or three, about, about two, two or three, three years. Okay. Yeah. So, what I do with the, these, mine every year is I take it outside to get the, rid of these larger leaves and to really make it powerful looking. And I would love to help you with that sometime. You need to get in there and you you defoliate the whole tree. Well, I've done that. Defoliate the whole tree, cut back all the pictures, but I forgot to send them home. And we would wire these branches down and, yep. and fill in the pads and stuff. You get get everything wired out, and because they'll fill up on top, so everything wired out and down. Uh -huh. Yeah, so it's all there, and, and that way. But you have to do that like once or twice a year. That's the problem yep. with, with your yeah. with the defoliate. It's a pain in the butt. It's oh, so many. I mean, once you defoliate, yeah. it, the thing is. Good like we're, we're yeah, having, this is perfect. Within Weeks. ten days. Yes. Poof. Yeah. Exactly. Right. It's yes. Popping out everywhere. Yeah. No, they don't seem to mind. So is this a two or three or four man tree? It's a good two man tree. I help it's carry it. Two, it's but it's about all you want. Yeah, it's about a lot. <laughs> yeah. It's a good man tree. Yeah. It yeah, took about three to when we had to transfer. Here. That's right. Um, yeah. I. Just looking, I see other angles that could be used as a front for it. I know this is the obvious front because you can see the trunk line and everything, but it also kind of leans that way. It kind of grows that way. Mm. Now where's your giant turntable? So you're looking turn in this way. Okay. So you, what does it look like? No, I, I, I like this side of the turn myself. So. It's much more impactful. You can see more, so many more roots. Yeah, it was. Huh? See it? Yeah, absolutely. You got a million yeah. uh, aerial roots this, back there. This is so much. And it's still open. This kind of comes out towards it, but that branch could be taken off and crowded good. and bring it back around this way. Huh. And that's what I see. Uh-oh. There's a bunch of work down. You're going to have a crane to, like, a, we get an engine hoist to pick it up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a couple of people just in your body. Yeah, so that's, that's what I see. That's a great tree. Well, thank you. It's a monster tree. I would have room to keep it. That, to be honest, we, we, have a, we have a greenhouse because my wife has all kids. Ah, so yeah, in the wintertime, it's got its own id, and I, know. I have a huge wooden uh, really yeah. yeah, big as that. Good. Yeah, no, it's great if you have room to keep it. How are you? I'm trying to get it. We haven't seen you in a year. I like my house. I'm going to cut. So much fun. And then right outside the greenhouse, do you want to give us a, a pithy statement? <laughs> <laughs> you can say, I don't hear it say anything. <laughs>